What is up guys? Welcome back to the homestead. We're actually gonna be working down here today. We'll get to that in a second. What's up kitty cat? In our last video, you saw we were putting plastic up upstairs um, for the vapor barrier, the moisture barrier, whatever you call it. But I wanted to show you guys why we were doing that really quick. And that is out here. So outside here, you can see there's a bunch of ice and it's all wet down the bottom trim piece, all the way down. And then even when you come over here, you know, it's wet all the way down here. And what I'm pretty sure that is, is moisture inside the walls. So it's always something dealing with that here. What we really have going on is we haven't covered the walls downstairs here. So we have to do that. But like I said today, we're working over here, getting some blocking in the floor. And it's pretty much all done. You can see above me, we have those pieces of blocking running all the way the length across the building, giving this whole floor stability through each joist there. But as you can also see, there's a few that are missing, especially if we come through here, there's one there. We got a couple down here that we had to either knock out for various reasons, and then they just never got replaced. So we're gonna get those cut, get some blocking in there. Get some measurements here. A while back, Liz and I got these four inch deck screws, which works out perfect because I have to reach at least three inches through this double floor joist. But what isn't cool is these are Phillips. So whoever made a four inch Phillips screw, that's just perfect. So let's see if we can get these through. Are you serious? I will be surprised if I can get that started again. Ready? Ah, I did get it. Look at that. It broke the friggin' bit, but I got it. It moved a little more. Snap that right off. I'm leaving this one it's just a little low because our Starlink cable is up there. And that Starling cable has like this big, I don't know, weird cylinder thing on it. So I want to be able to get that out in case we need to. Okay, what do we got here? We got one up here. One, two. Two, and that completes this half, right? I don't see any more. One, two, oh, three. I got three. What else? Is that it? And. All right, so while Mike is filling the gaps with the blocking, I'm going to be putting plastic up on this little piece of wall. It's only about maybe three or four feet between the door and the wall. I'm gonna get that all plastic and taped up.
now I'm gonna try to not break another one. I need to put another Phillips because that's a double floor joist. Broke the bit again. Got it though. All right. Last two are all the way down here at the end of the building, connecting this outer wall to the whole floor. And I got one on each side. I don't know why I never got these put in. There's one here, and there's one here. Let's get right to that. I'm gonna pre-drill this side. I don't trust these boards. Well, we got all this blocking in. Ended up being one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight or nine pieces that I hadn't had in there, didn't put in there. Um, and I'm just walking around right now just to make sure I didn't miss any more. It's kind of funky looking at them. Your brain does some weird things sometimes when you're looking at so many of one thing. But I think I got them all looks like it cool so that project done check it off the list let's go outside though we got a little snow squall going on the camera never does it justice when it's snowing it's kind of hard to explain but it's snowing out pretty decent right now the weather's actually been fairly mild for like the last month and a half so we'll take this. I'm hoping the roads don't get too bad. We have a really important delivery coming. Hopefully tomorrow. Because right now, it is lunchtime. So I'm going to get a snack. Little lunch down the hatch. Still got some snow coming down, not bad. A lot of you guys have been asking about the trap line and if we've got caught the killer of the chicken yet. We have not, but we have had some activity around the traps. It's been tough because the ground was frozen, so that really messed us up. We had some tracks really close to our traps, but let's head out right now and see if we got anything.
Trap number one. Nothing down in there. The train. And we're coming up on trap number two and three. I had some bait with uh, some feathers hanging back there. Nothing touched that bait yet, um, but I'll show you these traps up here. So right here, we got trap number two. Trap number three over there. We actually had some paw prints and it has since snowed, but you can see there was something in here and we have had some activity here, but the ground was frozen. I had the trap set for a long time. I had a paw print in the trap right here. Probably should have reset the trap with the ground being frozen and dealt with that. But I did have the antifreeze, the flake antifreeze and the wax dirt in there. Didn't go off, neither did that one. That one, I don't think it stepped in the trap. This one, it definitely stepped in the trap. So that was a little discouraging once I found out that it had stepped pretty much right where I wanted it to. Like I said, I had the antifreeze, I had the wax dirt. I just think it had been set for too long. You know, it sat out here probably two or three weeks now. back to the house now and that snow has actually started to switch to rain and that is about the weather that we have right now out here in Idaho end of February starting to switch to rain the weather's warming up but that's okay we'll take it like I said we have a big delivery coming soon we're really excited for it hopefully it's here this week and uh that's about it for today guys appreciate you watching if you haven't already please consider subscribing down below we'll catch you in the next video